welcome to my etiquette guide for the correct way to open a bottle of champagne. Now, as you know, what party wouldn't be complete without a good bottle of champagne? You can have it for lunch, you can have it for dinner, you can even have it for your afternoon tea. Afternoon tea, champagne tea parties are very popular and something I quite enjoy. So here we've got the tray with the champagne and a few very uh, modern champagne glasses because obviously the old-fashioned champagne glasses are the ones that you see in the old movies. And did you know that those are actually modelled on Marie Antoinette's breasts? No, you didn't. So the next time you drink out one of those, you're drinking out of Marie Antoinette's breasts. Now, we're now going to move on to the actual correct way to open this bottle of champagne. So make sure you've got a firm grip of it because what you don't want to do is for it to go all over the place. So make sure you put your hand around it and keep it in one place. And then obviously here you've got a piece that you can pull off, but some champagne bottles don't, and you've just got to find where it comes away. And then we're going to ease the cork out, but we're going to do it in a very gentle motion. We're turning the bottle clockwise, and the, cl the cork gets turned anti-clockwise. I didn't realise it was going to actually come out that quick. As you heard, it just made that floof noise. It's the kind of sound that you want to hear. You don't want any loud explosions or bangs because we're not making a movie. This is just opening a bottle of champagne in a very delicate manner. So I've removed the cork and I'm now going to begin pouring. A little trick is to pre-pour and then let it settle. You could actually do that into all the glasses so that when you come back, then it will fill up without fizzing. With champagne, you can fill it up to not quite the top, but maybe just about half an inch from the top. If you're uh, pouring champagne with somebody, some people will actually tilt the glass towards you, which obviously helps to stop it overflowing. Uh, and it's quite nice, but when you're doing it this way, it can be a bit tricky, especially if you've got quite a few glasses trying to tilt them to, tilt them to angle. So it's easier just to do it and as I said maybe just pre-fill them a little bit and then you just go back. When you pick up the glass make sure you pick it up from the base of the stem because what you don't want to do is you're not trying to warm the glass so you don't hold it up here because we're not in some local pub. So you're going to hold the glass down here and then as you're supposed to say, chin chin. We don't clink, remember we never ever clink glasses, it's just chin chin and look at the other person in the eye.